Sparks does get some timey, which is a nice pick there for Concordia as they'll try to move forward. Ace up here on the top side, 60% towards his ultimate. Both supports have their ultimates right now and will use it, as well as a Concordia ultimate from their ace. That's going to be Waffle Dude with his. Sparks uses his. He's going to get in there, finds Ben Killer and up the ante for two picks. Waffle Dude in the back as Ace is taken out by Sparks, and Papa Bear finally gets that kill. Sometime he killed by Sparks on the front side, and a team kill completed. As up the ante is all by himself here, will Concordia kind of realize that and chase him? They are going to do so. They find up the ante, and that means that Concordia now will push the payload onto the next objective. Coming up over the top is that ultimate. Mr. Papa Bear does fall to it. As Concordia slowly is getting the payload moved around, Sparks finds Ace in the back. Will be reactions trying to find any sort of shot he can. Sometime he is there, uses his ultimate trying to find any headshots that he can if anybody's unlucky enough to peek him at that moment. Ace is going to be 80% towards his ultimate. Reactions is picked off as sometime he simply just looked at him from behind there. Concordia has been continuously moving in going to be an ultimate there. Sometime he does kill Sparks. Sparks dove on him. Just wasn't able to get it. Tywood back on the point. Has a way to get out. Oh, he failed though. So he's actually going to end up dying to that. Meanwhile, Concordia now has to pull back. Reset. But so far, they have had a very solid push through the first point. We're going to have the tank of Ben Killer switching over to the Oh, over characters here. Doing what they can. A lot of damage coming through up the ante is going to be over there on the left side. Just kind of getting a peek at what's going on. And Concordia is going to rotate around. Coming through. Let me see exactly how this goes down right now. Ultimate's up for Concordia as they do try to dive high ground. Get on the point. Ace, though, finds Skelly, which means that's a support down. It's going to be Papa Bear using his. Unfortunately, not able to save reactions as Ace does find Tywood on the monkey. And Concordia now has to try to get back. They will not be able to, though. Sometime he finds a kill on the Papa Bear. And Sparks falls to Ben Killer. Concordia now to reset. Tywood going to be switching over to the Sigma. Not so fast. <laughs> going to ult there. So Jaime is up top trying to find a little bit of value in this high position. He does find a kill. Both supports caught out there by that. And then Reactions falls immediately. Sometime he's able to get that ultimate off. He finds Papa Bear with just a regular shot. Kiriko from Concordia is caught out. So the rest of the squad will now pull back and defend the payload. Concordia has a minute and a half here to try and make a move. It will be some time for them to work with as Sparks and Reactions along with Skelly all have their ultimate skate. Uh, Ace Waffle Dudes have theirs. A nice dive onto the top side of the rocket here. Concordia tries to get in here. That's a really nice Death Blossom. Sparks does find this some timey. Now. Reactions uses his ult. Will he be able to find anything? Skelly Wolf goes down. Will Concordia be able to get another kill here? They need to find something. Concordia trying to find an opportunity, but Ace does get a pick. He'll find both Tywood, Sparks, and Reactions with that. So Concordia was able to find two picks, but unfortunately there at the end, Ace finds another three to clean it up. Forces Concordia to a bit of a hairy situation. 30 seconds to go. Ultimate up is Skelly's for the moment. Tywood on his third character here to get things started. Cordia now has to try and find something. Ace is in their back line, and he finds a big pick. Sparks, unfortunately, goes down immediately to some timing. Cordia is on the payload. They have Papa Bear Tywood there. Skelly, though, goes down to Waffle Dudes. 
can be Papa Bear also falling, so over time will tick through. And they won't be able to finish it. Round one complete, it'll be one point with a distance of 68.48 meters. Or measured units. I'm not 100% sure. I'm guessing they use meters in Overwatch. But I'm not quite sure. Concordia now has the opportunity to defend. They know how far they have to hold. But same thing for Morningside, as Morningside knows how far they have to go. And if they're able to get a really good initial push here that matched what Concordia kind of pulled off at the first start, it would be very difficult for Concordia to try to hold Ready that second that. point. Spawn advantage on this first point is rather critical. And on second point, it's a little bit more evened out. Both teams kind of have to travel about the same amount of distance when the payload is about halfway through. So it's really important to kind of get the kills um, early on or later in that fight. But for Concordia, it's sort of important for them to get it early on and stop the payload in its tracks and not lose anybody late so that they can get back in time. Five, four, three, two, one. are going to set up here Attack on high ground some timey going to that Widowmaker pick. Stop the payload. Which seems to be just the usual here. Shot rings through. Concordia should know that he is on that pick. Here is Ben Killer up in the back side. Some damage coming through. Sparks also on the Widowmaker himself as Sparks... Does get or reactions get a sparks finds waffle dudes, but that's gonna be two more kills coming through from Morningside, which means that Morningside has the advantage. They'll be up two by one kill, and Concordia has to get back to the payload here. Concordia gonna move back up. Try to push in get things started. They're going to jump in onto the Widowmaker up Concordia. That's a really big backline dive going on right here. Meanwhile, up front, we do have Ace who finds reactions. And the payload will complete the first checkpoint. This is big as right now Concordia has to try to get back. They will have long spawn for now. Sparks, though, does find a kill for now. Skelly does go down and Ace finds Tywood as Sparks is going to try and find his way out of here. He does so, and without that, he also finds a kill. Turning around on the back side. Now they're going to do the exact same thing that Concordia was doing to them. Dive the Widowmaker in the back line. That's going to be Ben Killer getting his ultimate off. Sparks does in that chaos find some timey, and they even find a second kill. Ben Killer HD does find Sparks, though, with his ultimate in the back, but Concordia able to push through, finish off everything, and force a reset. Of course, we're going to just have French being spoken on all sides as the, ult the ultimate sniping battle begins. Sometime he wins that one to get things started, and that's where the magic now begins. The dive comes through. Ben Killer moving in with the rest of his team. It's going to be both Hirikos using their ultimates. Tywood uses his ult as well on the backside. Sparks does pick off some timey, so now they're back even. Concordia has an advantage. Reactions uses his ultimate up. The ante uses his. Ben Killer does find that first one. Ace trying to get what he can. He makes a little bit, a lot of space now for his team. Unfortunately, Concordia did not seem to win the team fight out, even though they avoided a lot of the critical ultimates. Tywood, the only one left alive, and unfortunately there, it's going to be just back and forth, or not back and forth, but Concordia streaming in slowly. And that means Morningside wins 3-0. Just a huge unfortunate situation there as Concordia was just unable to hold off long enough there 
had what was a really good first move. And then just were not able to finish it off. But GG's all around to Morningside as they will go now 5-0 and and Cordy to go 4-2 here in the regular season, but more than likely we will see them later. So that'll be it for our stream right now. We'll take a quick break, but I will restart the stream for our second game starting at 8.30. We'll see you back here in just a bit. <laughs> 